Good morning, this is Larry McMillan with a stock market update on Monday, July 10th. So the market pulled back a little bit on uh, the end of last week, but uh, it did manage another rally before the close on Friday. And so there are no gaps uh, left on the S&P chart right now, which is a good thing. I mean, that doesn't mean anything has to be filled. And so uh, we, we are maintaining a core bearish, uh, bullish position because the S&P chart is, uh, well, bullish. <laughs> uh, there is support at last week's lows, 43.85, stronger support at 43.30, and major support at 4,200. Uh, frankly, uh, any pullback below 43.30 at this point, though, would be a little disappointing. And if that occurred, we would... Uh, change from our core uh, bullish position. Meanwhile, the uh, McMillan volatility band sell signal remains in place. It's usually an early sell signal and it is again this time. The equity only put call ratios are bumping along at very low levels, meaning they're very overbought, but they haven't started to rise yet. So it's tempting to say, well, let's just call them sell signals here and forget about it. But uh, really, that's not the right approach. Um, we need to wait for them to start to rise before they actually are on sell signals. Breadth, again, has been all over the place. Currently, the breadth oscillators are on sell signals after a couple of terrible days of breadth last week. We are not using the breadth oscillators as primary indicators at this time, though, due to the fact that uh, they've just been whipsawed a lot this year. New highs versus new lows. We did have one day last week where new lows exceeded new highs on the New York Stock Exchange, but that uh, is not the case at, by the end of the week. And so this indicator remains bullish. A VIX claimed a little bit, but not enough to go into spiking mode, which means it would have to rise at least three points over three-day time period using uh, closing prices. So the trend of VIX is still down, which means that's bullish for stocks. And uh, so we're just waiting to see here, if, like the put call ratios, if VIX can uh, spring higher. If not, then it's still bullish for the stock market. Same thing goes for the uh, construct of volatility derivatives, where we look at the term structure of the VIX futures and things like that. So um, we're into the middle of summer. Uh, we're approaching... What is typically about the low of the year for VIX, it's not a specific thing. It used to be right around the 1st of July. Now it kind of extends out through most of the month. But usually by August, VIX is on the move higher. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Meanwhile, uh, I invite you to visit our website, take a look at our daily uh, letters, and uh, have a great week, whether you're uh, trading or vacationing.